Hi, Jafaris here. I'm just going to give a mini review for Geometry Wars. As you can see, um, I'm just uh, playing about halfway through a game at the moment. As you can see, the screen's pretty put up with the colours, uh, shape, and what you've got to do is basically just uh, destroy them. Uh, the game is, it looks easy, but as you can see, I just died, and it gets pretty intense, and you only get, um, Three different weapon types, like you get a rapid fire watch there now. Uh, you get um, like rockets, what take a bit slower to come out, and then uh, you get the first one we start with, which is pretty decent. Well, uh, the one that I find the best is the rapid fire one I'm using now, and the uh, weapon changes every 10,000 points what you get, so it changes pretty quick. If you got a high multiplier, then uh, you get um, the score goes up pretty quick. So, uh, and the only downside is, is uh, as you try and get your multiplayer high, you die, so it will go back to 1 and you've got to like, destroy enemies and build back your multiplayer up again. As you can see, there's all different shapes, and all the different ones give you different points for destroying them, and like, each one does like, their own little thing. So like, on the green one, if you try and shoot them, you now move away from bullets, so you've got to like, try and aim uh, shots in front of them or behind them, sort of, depending which direction they're going to go. As you can see, there's these long snakes, uh, snake-looking creatures. You've got to um, shoot the blue bits, uh, like the head sort of thing, to destroy them. Anything else, and it just won't uh, damage them. So you've got to be quick with them, because you can fill up the map a bit quick. And you've got these purple ones. They just shoot. Once you shoot them, they break off into um, two or three other little bits. You've got to be um, quick and uh, shooting those ones, because they will chase after you. And um, they are pretty quick as well, so they can move around the map pretty really quick. Uh, the other ones are like, uh, blue, blue ones. They're like right near the start as well. They only give, uh, they're not that hard. They just follow you around, but they're pretty slight. But they're really good. Cool. Uh, you get these um, red uh, circles that appear on the map every now and again. What these are wormholes, and when you shoot one, uh, it will like start to. Um, uh, light up and uh, any of these shapes that are near it will get sucked in and uh, what you've got to do is you've got to keep on firing on it until it gets destroyed otherwise it will fill up too much and then it will just explode and all these tiny little balls come out uh, little blue balls and they're really fast and you're probably if you're close by then you'll probably get hit by one if you're not careful uh, you get um, you start off with three lives I think I remember uh, you get three lives and every 75,000 points you get another life, every 100,000 points you get a bomb, and what the bombs are, if you push L to your R, L to R, um, it will just wipe out whatever's on the map, which is pretty useful, um, so yeah, I like it, and then it's a uh, really jam. Um, what else is there? Uh, there also, um, while I'm playing this, uh, I didn't, it didn't tear up, but you get these tiny little purple uh, shapes, uh, what appear on the all four sides of the map, what these are, there's just well, not thousands, but a lot of them. What just keeps spawning out, keeps uh, filling up the um, map, and they're really hard. Like you need a bomb to like, destroy them, or do a quick shot, and like got a rapid fire or something. Then you can get rid of them all. But they so they do fill up like the whole space, and it's very hard to move around, especially if you've got um, other shapes as well coming after you. It gets a bit tricky. You see, um, I'm not doing too well. Well, I'm. Uh, the thing what I was aiming for was to try and get um, to a million without dying, but that failed as soon as I got to like 100,000. It's just like, the problem with this game is you've got to play it a lot, and uh, the more you play it, the better you get. Because I ain't played this for like a couple of weeks now, so I'm a bit rusted. So, um, I just uh, started playing it again really, because of um, Geometry Wars 2, what is coming out soon. Um, I can't wait to get that. It's, it's better than this, it's going to be perfect. I'm just about to keep getting that. Um, what else is I'd say, yeah, the achievements on this are pretty hard actually. Like, I've um, got to um, survive 1 million, and as you can see, I've barely just reached the 500,000, and I've only got 3 lives left. There's no way. I've already died a couple of times already, so I've already missed a chance to get to uh, survive 1 million. Uh, there's also one way to get, uh, to get like, uh, 10 times multiplier. And the closest I've got is like 7 or 8 and then it just dies. I can't get to that. It's all important number 10. Uh, so a lot of people have done it, but I haven't managed to do it yet. I will hopefully try and do it before Geometry Wars 2 comes out, but 
I'd say. I'll keep on trying. As you see, I've just died, so just look at the leaderboard. I'd say I'm, I've got 1 million, but I'd say I haven't survived uh, the 1 million. And of course, I'm ranked like 3,000, 300,000 or something. And the guy who's number one has got like 500 million. I thought, bloody hell, I'll never be able to get that many. But yeah, uh, this is Geometry Wars, uh, out now for Xbox Live Arcade. It's definitely worth paying for. Um, it's a brilliant game. Or just wait a couple of weeks and get Geometry Wars 2. Alright, see ya.